So here we are again for a further podcast, uh, looking at universal basic income and how this affects people in Wales. And I'm delighted to be joined in this podcast by Mary Roberts, and we're going to hear about Mary, who is from Cowbridge, just outside Cardiff. So Mary, welcome. Good to have you with Thank us. You. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Oh, great. OK, well, Mary, what would be great is to hear a little bit about you and, you know, your life, um, not the whole thing, but where you are at now. And just tell us why you think UBI might help you or people that you know. OK, right. Um, I currently work four days a week. I have a teenage daughter. And every month I have to budget. My biggest outgoing is my rent. My second biggest outgoing is council tax. By the time all my bills go out, uh, electricity, gas, insurances and everything, then I know what I'm left with for fuel and food. That doesn't include parties. That doesn't include hairdressing. Um, those, if I know there's a birthday party coming up, I try and budget for it, but I constantly have to budget. And to have that little extra income, I think would just take the edge off. Okay, thank you. That's Go okay. ahead. I think the price, the price of food has most definitely gone up. I've noticed that. I don't know if that's down to Brexit or the pandemic. Most that's definitely gone up. Um, and that's a strain. It's a strain on other things that really I I shouldn't have to worry about. I've got to be careful what I put in my basket or I have to plan meals. Every, everything I have to plan. So it'd be, it'd be really nice just to take that edge off to think, oh, yes, let's go and get that next week or let, let's stick the heating up a bit or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So is that quite stressful for you thinking about, you know, that budgeting and, you know, money it can is. Be. Yeah. I think I'm so used to doing it now, um, which is a shame. I shouldn't have to be used to budgeting, really. It, it shouldn't be my priority come pay day. I write everything down and as it gets taken out of my bank, I take it off, take it off, take it off. And I know what I'm left with. Um, the last week of the month is very difficult. Um, my, jo my job, I get paid over the minimum. So I'm very, very lucky there. My employer was great in topping up my furlough because I was furloughed since last February uh, last December sorry December the 19th and she kindly topped it up for me I started back on Monday which is great <laughs> um so yeah it would take most definitely take the edge off okay great and tell me um how you came to cure about UBI what 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 sort of made you think ah oh, Yes, I can see UBI that makes, could make a difference to me. Um, I'm um, a Lib Dem follower. And I think, well, I've forgotten his name. I'd, I received emails from them. And there was something on there saying, would you like to fill out? Uh, what happened? So I hit that and I thought, yeah, yeah. And so I filled it out and that, that's the only way I found out about it. Never heard of it before until week before last. Okay. Thank you. Wow. So when you think about it, do you, do you also think of people you know who it might help as well in your community or, you know, people that you're aware of? Can you give us, you know, a sense of, people you might know who it might be 
helpful too? Yeah. Maybe not, well, personal friends. I know there's a few personal friends that are in the same position as me um, that work and have worked full time and, and are still in the position where they have to um, be careful what they spend. Um, prices are going up, our wages aren't going up. Rate, um, rent is, I could get a cheaper mortgage if I could get a mortgage, but I can't. Um, that takes a massive chunk of my wage. Um, but even in the shop I work in, um, I work in a school uniform shop in Cowbridge. And even some people who think, oh, oh, I'll only get one top for my daughter to go to school. And you just think, oh, do you know? Or you hear people saying, um, as beavers and scouts are going back, are opening up soon. And I had a customer in today um, who came in to get two tops and ended up buying one and said, oh, I'll see if my friend can pass hers down to me. And you just think, do you know that is, it's, this, it's not just me. That there are people that are working full time that are, I'm on my own, but married couples where there's two incomes coming in with more than one child and they're still in the same position. Mm. At the end of the checkout, they haven't got enough money, they're going to leave things on the conveyor belt and you just think, oh, God, why is that happening? Mm. And if, um, you know, we're here in Wales, you, you're, you're in South Wales, I'm in mid Wales, um, you know, we're, we're wanting a vision for Wales. Do you think this could help Wales? Do, do, do you have any views about how this could fit in, not just for the individual, but also for for Wales. Do you have any thoughts about that? Yes, yes. I think you've got Cardiff as a city centre, Swansea as a city, but there's also rural communities, Mid Wales being one of them. I've lived in Krakowell, that's a lovely little village, um, Abergavenny, and more rural. You go up Mid Wales towards North Wales, there are rural communities that they go without so much. They go without broadband. They go without um, basics just to get by, just to get, just to get by. And they're not, they're all working families. And that's what I just can't get my head around. We, we yeah. <laughs> you know, we're all working so hard. Yeah. So a couple more questions. Um, you know, universal basic income is something that people think is, uh, you know, a giveaway or, a, you know, there are lots of things against it. Um, can you think of ways that you might talk to people about what universal basic income is and, and what its positives are and what it would mean to you? It's a top up on the wage to keep up with the growth of products of food of um fuel of bills everything's going up but the income isn't matching everything that's going up and it would benefit so many people working families as well as people that don't work it's uh, yeah so I guess my question to you would be, if you had a salary that was sufficient, do you still think universal basic income is a good idea? If I had an income that was sufficient, do I think basic income? That's a tricky one, isn't it? <laughs> You've got me there, Jane. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. Um, uh, don't worry, you don't have to answer it. Well, I think if, I, if I had enough to live on comfortably, which isn't a lot more than what I'm bringing in, it, it, it's, not, it's, I'm not, it's not a lot of money, but it would take the edge off. Okay, yeah, I get that. And if it was regular, if it was a regular sum of money, 
Well, I... so it would be something regular. You knew it was going into your bank account every week. Yeah. 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 Final question. What would you say to people who think universal basic income discourages people from working? That is, you know, people would just sit there all day and think, oh, you know, that's fine. I'm, I'm getting that money into my account. What would you say to that? Well, I don't know many, if any, close friends and family that don't work. And I know that it would help them. So uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that one. Mm. No, that's fine. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I think I have been told I would be better off not working because I'd get my rent paid for, I'd get this paid for and that, but oh, no thanks. <laughs> so for you, if you had universal basic income and you were not working and say universal basic income was enough still to meet your needs, are you still going to want to work? Are you still thinking? Most yes, definitely. Most definitely. And I can tell you now, the la this pandemic since December up until I couldn't sleep Sunday night, I couldn't wait to get back into work. It's been... <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to go through that again. No. No, I, I would most definitely work. I'd have to, I'm a worker. Have been since I was 12. Yeah, it's what, the, it's what keeps the world going round, isn't it? Keeps whales ticking over and, you know, no. Great. Well, Mary, thank you so much for joining us in this podcast and for giving us your views on universal basic income. We're very grateful to you. Thank you very much, Diolch and Fawr. Diolch and Fawr, Jane, Diolch.